son now, huh? Yeah, 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 it's you. It's you. See, I feel bad now because I'm looking at y'all list, and I, 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 both of y'all choices this round are fantastic. ASAP Rocky's a fantastic choice. Uh, uh, um, Killer Mike is, a, is an amazing choice. Um, so if I'm making a list of the greatest rappers of all, best rappers alive, and I can't name Tupac, Biggie, Jay Z, Nas, Eminem, Andre 3000, Kendrick Lamar, Lil Wayne, Drake, Kanye West, Snoop Dogg, Rakim, Ice Cube, or Scarface. Um. Again, my, my list was based on uh, five things. It was based on sales. It's based on critical acclaim, based on cultural impact, skill and ability, and lastly, discography. My choice is none other than the queen herself, Nicki Minaj. Right? Mm -hmm. Whether you like Nicki Minaj or you hate Nicki Minaj, right? There, let, let, let's, let's go through this just point for point, right? Sales. She definitely got the sales, okay? She has outsold so many other artists. Like, she she has outsold so many other artists, like, period. Like, so they've been at any given point when she drops a, a project, Nicki Minaj doesn't just have one of the most popular rap albums of the year. She's got one of the most popular albums of the year, regardless of genre, right? Mm. So she deserves credit where credit is due for that. Um, critical acclaim. I want to come back to that one because I know there's there's gonna be people that feel a way about that. But we're gonna come back to critical acclaim in a second. Cultural impact. It is in mistake. Like you cannot. Like like I, I when talking about the greatness of, of of Nicki Minaj, you can literally see her impact on music when you see every other female rapper that's come out since her. Right. Every and let me be clear. Every other mainstream or radio rapper, right? You can literally see it with the dyed hair, the outfits, the style of performances, the mixing, the rapping with the singing, you know, and also kind of twerking, but they're still being lyrical and gangster. Like, like they literally copy and pasted so many aspects of Nicki Minaj's career onto every other female rapper. Like, they literally tried, they have been trying to recreate the formula. Like, however they made the Frankenstein's monster that is Nicki Minaj, every record label has been trying to figure out how to do it again. Just like how when Eminem put out, I mean, when Dr. Dre put out Eminem and all the labels was in a rush to put out white rappers, it was like, Nicki Minaj is that same thing for female rap. She's the and, she's the standard, basically. Yeah, she she is the standard, right? Like I look at, I typically look at rap music like I look at the NBA, right? In the way that um, every year in the NBA, and I, I can use any sport, but I'm using the NBA specifically, right? Every year in the NBA, you got your most valuable player of the year, and then you got like the three or four people that were close to being the most valuable player of the year, right? Yeah. I look yeah. at rap music the same way, right? And I'll typically use the same metric of sales, critical acclaim, cultural impact, skillability, discography, etc. So, so you can see each year who was the most valuable rapper of the year. Nicki Minaj has had two or three years where she was the top person yep. in rap music. Yep. You know, like whether you like her or you hate her, Right. You can't deny that she has had at least three or four years where she was the top rapper in the game. And yeah. now get to critical acclaim. Some of y'all might like the way she raps. Some of y'all might hate the way she raps. She I, I'm just I listen. I could talk about her albums. I could talk about Roman's Revenge. I could talk about uh, uh, this song or that song. No, yeah. the song that I'm going to use to defend Nicki Minaj and why she deserves to be on this list is her verse. On my dark, beautiful, twisted oh fantasy, yes. Kanye West is monster. Yes. Kanye West did this song where it was Kanye, Jay Z, Rick Ross, and an up and coming artist by the name of Nicki Minaj. Yes. And Nicki stole the show. Yep. She stole the show, and it wasn't even close. Like yeah. it, she, she got on there with legends. She went yeah. up like like everybody else that was on that list is arguably the greatest rapper of all time. Yeah. And then she got on there and shit on everybody. Yep. I remember yep. hearing that going, who the fuck is this woman? Yeah. Like, God it is, like listen, listen, lo love Nicki Minaj, hate you Nicki Minaj. On that uh, My Chick Bad. That's what I was like, who is that? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. My Chick Bad. My Chick yeah. Good. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and look, there's a lot of things you can say about Nicki Minaj, right? Like, I, I think there's there's a dialogue that definitely needs to happen about, like, why Nicki can't seem to get along with no other female rappers, right? I think 
there's a conversation to be had. That's like, how you all like nobody? Like you, you was beefing with Cardi B. You was beefing with, uh, uh, uh you beefing with Cardi B. You was beefing with Megan Thee Stallion. You was beefing with Lil Kim. You was beefing with this person. Beef like. She does not play well with other women. Okay, no. I don't know why that is. I would love to find out because she. But oh, I think that's simple. I think she sees them trying to be her. But yeah, no, I don't think Megan she, so she much got, trying she, to be her. She started Cardi beefing B? with Remy Ma. She wasn't beefing with Remy Ma because Remy Ma was trying to be Nicki Minaj. Fair, fair. All right, fair you know point. She fair just, point. I just think she one of them women that don't have no other women friends. <laughs> it's not in her profession. Fair hey, point. listen, uh, uh, just say it like they like. I, somebody told me uh, a nigga with no. Uh, uh, if you meet a man that don't got no men, that's no other men that say friends, or you meet a woman and they don't got no other women that's that that's their friends, stay the fuck away from them. Okay, something wrong with them. <laughs> all right. Um, the, <laughs> yeah, that, that ain't got nothing to do with her being on this list though. So that, yeah. that's it. That's oh, that's advice, yeah. No, I I am not mad at that pick. Nikki is perfect. Like, but like, listen, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you though. I'm still picking Killer Mike right now though. Yeah, like <laughs> Majesty, Roman's Revenge, her voice on Monster. Listen, I, I I can't I can't not pick. But yeah, Nicki Minaj's discography is is bananas. Something said that she's always been able to do is she's always been able to stay ahead of the trends. Yeah, right. Like until she tried to go back was, at 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 Megan. Like let's let's just be fair with her. That was trash. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was that was not her best work. That no, that, that was not her best work. And that, I, I that wish doesn't I, that doesn't make her less good. Like, don't do that again, yeah. Nikki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's it. Yeah, Nicki Minaj is my choice. Uh, y'all 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 finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween and collard greens.